So an interesting project here. I've just been servicing these two boilers um, and last time I was here I replaced the thermostatic mixer valve. I've used a standard valve here rather than the, the one that comes with the uh, the mixing uh, with the uh, manifolds um, simply because this is a lot cheaper and it's a uh, standard off the shelf unit and if I go try and track down the one that came with this it's going to cost a fortune take take a, an age to get hold of and um, so I carry these in the van just basically replumb it set it up and uh, save a lot of aggro but anyway this is a, a very very large house uh, it used to belong to lady someone or other who I won't reveal and um, the, the new occupiers have uh, asked me to service the boilers and this has been kitted out with uh, Evo Home so it's got uh, and there's some more being done later today actually so it's going to be very well controlled by Evo Home but still there's no modulation control of the boilers here so um, I've got a pair of, of, of valent boilers and I've got a pair of Prostel cylinders and I've spoken to Villasar Dabrowski who's told me that I can use a commercial controller for this and a couple of, I believe there's some little relays we've had to the boilers and we can stick weather compensation on this. Uh, if I do that I'll disconnect the control from the Evo home uh, switching the boilers on and off and we'll go to weather comp on the boilers and we'll be sending out um, lower temperature water around the system to the underfloor heating manifolds via the low loss header here. Now I'll set the curve slightly high just there's a, a slight amount of overheat to the underfloor manifolds um, to give the Evo home um, some kind of controlling to do um, and just so that the system can be a little bit reactive but um, this is all LPG and it's costing them a fortune to run so I reckon if I could knock 5, 10, 15 percent um, extra off a gas bill via uh, modulating controls it's, it's going to be a, a worthwhile project. Um, the cost of the parts I think was around £1,700 I think from memory. I, I remember it being a lot of money anyway so um, I've sort of taken a little bit slow about getting this job done and uh, I want to take a little bit more of a second opinion from anybody who's into the valence and Rob Whitney as well. Um, so um, just to see whether we think this is really um, a definite way to go. I'm convinced it is, but um, I just want a little bit of reassurance on it really. So um, anybody who wants to put any feedback in, make any um, comments, please do. I've noticed there's no non-return valves on these boilers um, going into the header. It doesn't seem to be causing a problem with them the way they are. And I was wondering whether I need to put them on. Um, when I do my, um, when I turn them into weather comp, I, I expect, I suspect that um, if they're not needed now, they won't be needed then. But um, again, any opinions would be very welcome. So, uh, yeah, I'll await your comments.